Hey guys, this is Hunter Hayes. You're watching Pat and AJ TV. Hey, welcome all back. Pat and AJ TV. It's a Thursday. We all know what that means. It's Love Court Thursday. It's Love Court. We didn't forget this week. No, we did. It got posted. So, uh, we're going to get to Love Court in a bit, solving your relationship problems live here on the YouTube channel. Before that, Adventures in Dining with AJ. I sushi for the first time tonight. I did. Which first time ever. I had to like force her out the door. She got invited to a birthday party. She didn't want to go. And I'm like, will you go? I felt bad. I just haven't been in the mood for socializing and I don't want to be like a bummer on anybody. So. But it's at a sushi place and she goes, well, I don't know. It's sushi. And I'm like, you love seafood. You'll love it. You'll love it. And did you love it? I did. Although, um, my friend Aaliyah, <laughs> who's like, she's like a hundred pounds soaking wet. She's yeah. sitting next to me and she goes, I, I usually order three different kinds of rolls to okay. try each one, so you should order three different kinds, too. This plate, actually, <laughs> here's a picture of my plate of sushi oh, okay. as it arrived yeah, at right. the table. So there's there's the sushi. Well, that is That's indeed... a lot of sushi. It's a lot of sushi. In fact, show them right now. Show them leftovers. This is Here. leftovers. This is what the girl brought home from sushi. Uh, like, I don't know what I'm sushi. supposed to... It's heavy. First of all, it's heavy. It is. It is. Um, That's what I brought home. That's a whole meal. That's... I don't know what any of that is. This is called Christmas in July. Ooh. This one was really good, but in really small increments. It, there's just too much going on there. Those are fish <laughs> eggs, by the way. Fish eggs. If you don't, you can't think that they're fish eggs. Otherwise, they'll make you want to yak. Um, that was wasabi. Uh, adventures in wasabi. Ooh. Um, everybody at the table was like giving me a tutorial on how to eat my sushi. <laughs> And you I, were that person. There's that person. Every time you go out to some wacky like yeah, sushi, that me. is the rookie. And that was I you. I was the rookie. So I dipped my California roll in the, <laughs> the wasabi mix with the sauce or whatever. And as I'm putting it in my mouth, the guy sitting across from me goes, you didn't put enough sauce in there. And I mean, <laughs> crying. But here's the best part. So, you know, wasabi looks like that. It's green. Yeah. Um, our, my friend Aaliyah, who is originally from Mexico, said, don't worry about it. I have a better wasabi story. The first time she went out for sushi, th she thought wasabi was like guac. <laughs> and she dipped a chip? She literally took a spoonful and just... <laughs> ah, ah, she couldn't talk. She thought she was going to throw up. Wow. So my wasabi story isn't that bad. But I do have a whole bunch of leftover will sushi. You, will you eat... Should, you take like one bite of one I'm of these so things. full. I feel sick Come on. Just stomach. take one. Just take yeah, one. Yeah, I have a California roll. Wait, oh, AJ eating a California roll. I can't. Roll. I'm so full. Just I take can't a even bite. Look. How do they stay together? That freaks me out That is bit. the weird part it about sushi. Me. I I don't get all right. Is that good? I can't uh, eat anymore. I'm going to be sick. There you go. Hey, Anybody want to come over for my leftovers? Yeah, sushi. Hey, speaking of eating, uh, this is awesome. Uh, it is, you know, of course, one of the two seasons here in Wisconsin that would be uh, winter and construction. And construction <laughs> has been happening a lot around uh, our neighborhood. Our See, the whole street has been tore up and repaved. Looks Doing great. a good job, by the they way. Are. They're, they're going really fast. So Hoover Road in uh, Point Plover is all, all blocked off. And there's a guy out there. He's uh, he's the flagger guy. So he's the guy who goes slow, stop, slow, sure. stop, yeah. right? Uh, I've seen him all summer long. Various sites going slow, stop, slow, stop. But one thing remains the same. I saw him again today, and this is what I thought. Every time I see this cat, he's got a sandwich in his hand. <laughs> He's eating a sandwich. He, no, seriously. He's got the slow stop in one hand, is like, like today. Is it like a sandwich or like a sub? It, like, no, no, it's, it's, it's like, you know, two pieces of mental, white bread with like some ham. Picture here. It's like a ham sandwich. No, his or, wife probably made it for him before work. So morning. every, but no, but it doesn't matter where I've seen this guy working all summer long and what time of day it is. He's got slow stop. Bite. Sandwich. Slow, stop, <laughs> bite. This guy's living a life eating sandwiches all That's summer really long. really funny. Good for him. God, they're doing a great job on the streets, yeah. by the way. All right, it's Love Court time, boys and girls. Yes, solving your relationship problems live here on YouTube. Love Court this week brought to you by nobody. So um, <laughs> let's go ahead and how about Amber? Amber got a hold of us, and it's, uh, well, it's an interesting, sad story. Her parents got divorced after 20 years of marriage. A long time. Yeah, uh, turns out Dad was kind of stepping out, had a little thing going on, on the side. It so, happens. Here's the thing. Amber says that her and her brothers are of age. They're all 18 and up, so they're all sure. adults. So there's no custody or nothing like That's that. Good. But they said, obviously, it's weird, it's awkward, it's kind of devastating to have your parents split up uh, after such a lengthy marriage. I think it's hard at any point. Right. So here's the thing. Uh, they said that, you know, since mom and dad are split now, divorced, dad is dating the woman he was having the affair with. And he is pretty much pushing her friendship onto the kids. And the kids are very reluctant 
Well, okay, they don't like, ever, 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 ever want to meet her. Yeah, I was just gonna say, so he's like, hey, I'd really like for you to meet this woman. Yeah. And they're like, no way. Yeah, and, and he said that the kids are being selfish and only thinking of themselves. So Amber wants to know, is it okay for her and her brothers to not want to cozy up to the woman that caused their parents to get divorced? And Megan says, first of all, they shouldn't put all the blame on the woman. I agree. Women oh. get a horrible rap when it comes to that. She kind of is stuff. so pro girl power when it comes to that. She hates when women fight women over men. It's she 50 does. 50. It's the man's fault and the woman's fault. Her dad is as much as fault as a woman. It takes two to tango. I came from a family where my parents divorced after 20 years of marriage as well. Same thing. Due to my father cheating. It was 14 when that happened. He should not be pushing his new girlfriend on the kids. They are in no way selfish. He's selfish for putting his kids through that and then expecting them to be all peachy wow. and accepting. You kids, take your time. Well, there you go. Barb says, selfish? I think he's blessed if they talk to him. Ouch. Tia says, dad's the selfish one. He should have thought about his children and their feelings when he was being unfaithful to their mother. That is true, a little bit. Molly says, life's too short to hold a grudge. Yeah, it sucks, but not talking to this woman isn't going to bring her parents back together. It will, will cause more issues. I gotta tell you, so far I agree with Molly more. I say that sounds like it was plucked out of AJ's brain. AJ will, I like, don't hold grudges, she hold grudges. And I don't like holding, because grudges don't fix anything, yeah. ever. Karen says Amber and her siblings should not be pushed into getting to know the girlfriend. Okay. Her father needs to understand his children may never want to know or even meet this woman. Yeah, you know, I got to tell you this, Amber, I know it sucks. Um, I I kind of sort of saw a uh, friend go through the same thing before, and uh, that was like 15 years ago, and these days... She's actually very close to the woman that caused the divorce of her parents. Like, it's so, understandable to have hurt feelings yeah. and feel betrayed and, and whatever you want to feel, but just remember that holding a grudge never solves I mean, any problems. It's been a year. You're still adjusting to it. Maybe give it some time. No one's saying you got to be BFFs. No, just but, sit down and tell your dad, look, I'm all game for it, yeah. but give me more time. I'll let you know when I'm ready. Have, have maybe those little awkward lunches where no one talks a lot. Or don't have awkward lunches that? either. Uh, <laughs> Hope it works out for you, Amber. There you go, Love Court. Thank you so much. Hey, do us a favor. Go ahead and watch that Facebook page. You never know what we're going to do on there. That will be referenced here. Somebody please come over and eat all this soup. Come over and eat all this. Tomorrow. It's, so it's good. the Friday show, baby. Woo! I'm excited for it. I don't know what's going to happen, but AJ might be eating sushi because there's still a lot left over. I all can't. Right. <laughs> Subscribe to the YouTube channel while you're here. We got to go. Bye. Bye.